oh man, my charts aren't updating and I, the charts and the candles are too small. I can't really make any sense of this. I can't figure out where the price levels are and where the dates are for these candles. How do I fix this? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is this. When we go to a chart, if we notice that the candles aren't really moving much, we wanna make sure that we're on current candles. So what we're gonna do is on the chart, go up to the top right hand side of the chart and click the arrow if there is an arrow to bring the market all the way to the current price. From there, you should be able to see that the current candlestick matches what the price movement is on the price bar. If you see any discrepancies or if it's still not moving, you may have to connect to data, but nine times out of 10, based on my experience, it's because you're doing historical research and you forget to bring the charts to the current market. So now what? I can't really see much. So how, what do I do here? Well, the thing that I like to start off with when setting up my charts is by going up to the top right hand side of the window and clicking the F button, which is fixed scale. If I click that button, that'll actually expand out my charts to a fixed scale for what the current window is. And if I go left and right or zoom in and zoom out, it stays within that fixed scale. Now let's say, man, I like this, but I really wanna just bring it down just a little bit more. Well, what you can do is this. Take your mouse, go over to the price scale all the way to the right hand side and click with your left mouse click and drag either down to shrink the charts or click and drag up to increase the height of the candlesticks. That also works with the price bar down below. If you click the price bar and drag to the right, you'll see that it brings in more data, but it shrinks up the chart a little bit more while retaining that same height. If you want to zoom in a little bit, you just click on that price line, hold the mouse down and drag to the left and what that'll do is keep the same height adjustment, but move the timeline to fit the current chart setup that you have.